Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So in this video, we are going to solve a problem of finding if any year is a leap year or not. So we are going to write the function for that. So uh, let's start. So uh, first of all, for writing any function, we need we have a keyword def, and uh, this is used for writing keywords. So let's say def leap, and this will take um, parameter as year. Okay. So we'll check this year if this year is a leap year or not. So what's a leap year? Which year is a leap year? Any year which is divisible by 4 and it is not divisible by 100 and 400 is a leap year. So that's it. So let's write a code for checking if this is divisible by 4. So for that thing we'll just write year percentage 4 equals to equals to 0. So, so this means that this year is divisible by 4 and this should also be not divisible by 400 and 100 so we'll say year year not divisible by 100 and year not divisible by 400 and if this happens like i forgot to write a if statement so if this happens we'll just return I'll say status equals leap year. Else, I'll write status. equals normal year okay and finally I'll return this status I'll return the status so here we are okay so let's call this function uh, I, let's say I want I'm giving uh, the year 2000 so let's check if this is a leap year and it's saying yes it's a leap year so uh, now if I say year year should not oh I written a wrong code over here so this should be uh, this percentage 100 should not be equals to 0 so which means that is not divisible by 100 and uh, percentage 400 should not be equals to 0 so this is the correct so here so 2000 is a normal year so now if say for 2004 this is a leap year so this is a so here we have written a python program the python function for finding if a leap, if any year is a leap year or not so let's say i want to take the input from user so i'll say input equals to input uh, and uh, please please enter the year so uh, let's say I'm entering 2008 so I want to check if 2008 is a leap year or not so I'll first of all convert this to integer because I know that this is always in a string format so input so I have converted it to integer now and now I'll just send it back to the um, now I'll call this function and control uh, control C I'll see what's return so it's returning a leap year so it's saying that this is a leap year and now if I say I want to I want like for 2009 let's check for this thing and Oh, just a sec. So we want for 2009, and yes, we are ready to go. And this is a normal year. I think this normal spelling is not okay. So, okay, we are done. So, let's say 2000, and yes, so this is good. So, here we are done. We are written a program for finding a leap year. 
thank you guys for watching the video if you find this content helpful please give it a thumbs up and uh, if you are new to this channel please do subscribe thank you